giant robots versus giant monsters. Ah, poof, poof. it's like I'm a kid again. <laughs> Pacific Rim Uprising is directed by, and written by actually, Stephen S. DeKnight, I think is his name, um, from the Smallville Years, my favorite show, from Daredevil Season 1, the best of the Netflix MCU shows. Um, so this guy has a pretty impressive, impressive resume. He also did Spartacus, Blood and Sand, and the future seasons after that was a showrunner there. So he's a great resume, so I was excited going in. Um, I'm a huge fan of the first Pacific Rim cast and the feel, and uh, Guillermo del Toro is one of my favorites. And I just... Was really excited at this going in, and I will say, I wasn't disappointed, but I could, I feel like it could have been more than what it was. The film stars John Boyega, who plays John Boyega. He's charismatic as ever, he's super likable, but in every movie I've seen him in, it seems like he plays the same character. The rest of the cast, I don't know why all these movies, these big budget films, always feel like they have to go with the young uh, cast who's going to replace the older, the next generation, because they just weren't that convincing. They were okay, they were better than I thought they were going to be, but they were just annoying at times. This film did bring back some familiar faces, including Mako from the first Pacific Rim. But every, the whole time I was like, where is Raleigh? Where is Charlie Hunnam, my son of anarchy? They don't even really explain his absence, but they do reference him. So I'm hoping maybe he'll come back in the future installment if this one makes enough money. And the film is largely entertaining for the most part. Uh, it's funny in parts, but it's also a lot of the jokes fall flat because it feels forced. It almost feels like the development was rushed um, or that there was more movie that they cut out, but it just, it, it felt more like Transformers in the first Pacific Rim. And not bad Transformers, like early Transformers was a little bit better, just maybe not quite up to par. This film definitely has some interesting plot developments. Um, there's a huge twist that I did actually not see coming somehow, even though it was super obvious when you really look at it. Um, so that was awesome, it didn't go where I expected it to go. It definitely opens up possibilities. Um, for a, a supposed cinematic universe going forward. I'd love to see a crossover with Godzilla or something. I don't know how they do that. I have an idea, but that'd be a spoiler. So, yeah. Once the action gets going, the Jaeger fights are awesome. The kaiju look incredible. The CGI has come a long way, even in the five years that it's been since the first one. The action scenes are just simply phenomenal and entertaining. And I was just smiling whenever the robots and the monsters were on screen. However, some of the human elements, I'm just kind of like, meh, don't really care that's predictable that's cliche oh okay there's Scott Eastwood again when are you ever gonna not be a generic dude really man you're the son of Clint Eastwood all in all Pacific Rim Uprising was a decent film um, it wasn't as good as the first one but it does give hope to a better future and it really picked up in the last act of the film um, it was entertaining I was smiling um, and I think it's a good time. However, I would say the first Pacific Rim is still much better in my opinion. I'll give Pacific Rim Uprising a six out of 10. Please subscribe and watch more and I'll explode like this.